Good everyone and welcome to lesson two of the coding unit. This episode is called Welcome to My World. So what we're going to be doing for the next few lessons is we are going to be working with this robot right here. This is a VEX VR prototype robot and as you can see it is made out of VEX IQ plastic. However, it does have a few things that a real robot does not have and that includes the sensor that we have on the front, it also has a down sensor, it has bumpers on the left and right side, it also has a pen running through the middle. So if I turn off this picture here, you can see here all the different features it has. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be driving this robot around a virtual playground. All right, so you will be using instructions to drive the robot around and to activate and deactivate certain aspects of the robot. As you can see here, all the parts are labeled for you and you can decide whether or not something is mechanical or electrical. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at the program that we're gonna be using. It is at vr.vex.com. All right, and when you open up, it looks something like this. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Scratch, you this should not be that different to you. Uh, for those people who have finished the dance party, again, this block, this is all block sort of coding. You should be very familiar with what's going on here. Now, it follows literal instructions. All right, so when you are coding your robot, remember, it will do exactly what you say. So if you do, if you do something wrong with the code, something else, it's not going to behave itself. Now, the cool part about this program is, is that I can put my code, I can put my code in I can snap it all together. And once I snap it together, I can open up Playground. And what the Playground does is I can see down here, I've got a picture of my little, I've got my little robot down here. And I press this camera button on the side here, it changes my angle so I can actually see my robot in action. And what it's gonna do now is it is going to go through and follow the instructions quite literally what I've written here. So it says here, forward for 200 millimeters turn right for 90, forward, right, forward, right, forward. So if I press play on my code, let's see what it does. So it's driven forward for 200 millimeters, turn 90 degrees, and it comes back to where we started. Now it's facing the wrong way, but we can certainly fix that. But as this code is running, you can see all the information that your robot is currently gathering. So for example, object true on the front eye means it knows that something's in front of it. It knows something's about to hit it. It knows what angle or heading it's on compared to where it was to start with. So if I change it to turn, if I add it another brick on the end of it and I restart, we can see from top down what's going on. And I am now back exactly where I started. All right, now some of the other cool things that you can do with this is that do I really need to write out forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right? Can't I just loop it? And that's what I can do here is I can put in here. In here. And instead of having to do all these other things, I can just throw this out, repeat it four times. So I can go back to my playground, open my playground, and now I've made my code much, much shorter, and it still does exactly the same thing that I had before. Now the other cool things is you can turn on and off different aspects of the robot. So if I go down into 
the looks, I can see here I've got move robot pen down. So what I can do is when I start the robot, put the robot pen down. And now, when I start the robot, it actually leaves a trail behind me. So I know I can see what's going on. All right, so some of the things that you guys will be doing today and over the next couple of lessons is you're going to be exploring this program. But right now, all we need you to do is to look at the tutorials function. And there are some instructions listed on here that will help you learn how to use this program. All right, so take the time to explore the program and see what things are in there. If you select on the playground, you can see all these different things here that you might want to try and have a play with. All right, this is really, really fun, and it gives you a lot of a chances to try and make mis to try things out, make mistakes, and learn from your mistakes. All right, because there is a challenge at the very end that that you guys will be having a go at playing. All right. And I think some of you will definitely be able to have a go at this, picking up the discs and putting them in the right colors and doing that with flexible code. All right, so go to vr.vex.com and complete the tutorials that are listed up on Compass for today's lesson plan.